welcome back to the Girl Group Bookworm. So today I have my Booktubeathon TBR video for you. I feel like this is how I do every Booktubeathon where I'm like, I'm not going to participate, I'm not interested, and then all of a sudden like, boom, day before I'm ready to go. Um, because the very first Booktubeathon I wasn't going to participate because I was like still new to Booktube, I guess, I don't know, and I just like wasn't going to participate, and then I did, and I like crushed it. Um, for like doing it last minute. And then the second book tube found like completely crushed. And then the third one I was like, I'm not gonna participate, like I'm moving, like I can't do it, and then crushed it. Then the next one I was like, I'm gonna participate, like I was really gonna go for it, and then Patrick proposed and I was like didn't crush it. <laughs> and then last year I got married during booktube so I couldn't because it was like during my honeymoon, so that didn't work out. But this year I was not going to participate because I was like, I'm so tired and I have work this week, which I haven't had work during the summer ever, but I'm working on curriculum writing on Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I have professional development PD on reading and writing that I like wasn't going to do volunteered for it, so now I'm working this week. <laughs> so, like, I never work during booktube -a because I'm a teacher, so I don't normally work during the summer, but the summer, the one week that I decide to, like, actually do work is booktube -a So I wasn't going to participate, but then I was like, what the heck? It'll motivate me to get some more of my summer books off my TBR because with the fact that I did a lot of audiobook listening, a lot of the books that I put on my summer TBR weren't on audiobook form. I figured this will give me the motivation to get through some more of them. So, unfortunately, because most of the week I am doing things that have to do with work that, like, I can't vlog and all that, I'm not going to be vlogging this week. I just feel like going on, like, back-to-back -back vacations and coming back to work, I, I can't vlog. But I will be posting updates on my Instagram. So, I am the girly girl bookworm on Instagram if you're not following me as it is. So, if you'd like to find updates... Definitely follow me there. I'm on Goodreads. Um, so definitely check me out other places because I will be doing updates. I just won't be daily vlogging. I just, my body can't handle it this week. <laughs> um, so let's just get started on explaining the challenges. So if you watched my wrap-up video that I just posted, I just talked about how I thought booktube -a started today. So I had already read a book that followed a challenge. So I realized I was going to just say like, okay, I'm just going to start booktube -a a day early, but I'm like, what's the fun in that? So I'm not starting booktube -a, a day early. I'm going to start booktube -a tomorrow, and I picked a new book for that challenge. So let's just get started. Oh man, I had my hat. You're just going to have to find my Instagram picture because I don't know what happened to my hat. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Wait. Okay. So one of the challenges is to wear a hat the whole time while reading the same book. So I have this lovely hat that I just got on vacation. It doesn't fit me with this hairdo. But it says, I am Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. So for that book, I am going to be reading um, Friend Request by Laura Marshall. I just have been wanting to read this. It's a thriller, so I figured, let's do this. I'll just wear this hat whenever I'm reading this book. So... Someday I'll be wearing a hat and read this book. It might have to wait till like Saturday or Sunday or Friday. We'll see. I don't know. One of those days I'll wear this hat, I promise. Um, then for a book to movie adaptation, I don't own any books that are going to become movies that I could like watch immediately. So I decided to go with Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie because I believe that, that this is the next book to movie adaptations they're making of her books with um, the Hercule Poirot series. They just did Murder on the Orient Express and they kind of hinted at the next one being Death on the Nile. So I'd like to read this one. I won't be able to watch the movie adaptation right away, but that's okay. I want to read this anyways. Um, for something that you want to do, I really had a tough time looking at my books and deciding what I want to do. And I just decided to go with Summer House by Hannah McKinnon because maybe I want to go to a summer house. That would be fun, right? I'm going to a summer house for a little bit. We're going to the Cape next month, but I don't know. I figured it worked. It was in my summer TBR, so I'm going to do it. And I just love this cover. It's stunning. Then for um, read a book with a beautiful spine, I decided to go with 
Um, just kidding. This isn't. This was going to be a beautiful spine, but actually this is now my book with green on the cover. Never mind, because I repicked a book with spine. So this is green on the cover. I've been wanting to read this, so I'm going to force this to be green. It is green. It's like a very light, limey green. Another type of thriller, historical fiction-y, in my summer TBR, so here we go. Beautiful Spine is actually now this book, which is How to Walk Away by Catherine Center. Beautiful Spine. Love the cover. Um, originally, I had picked out The Summer of Good Intentions for my green, and Patrick's like, both not green, which is why I switched it to this one, because this was supposed to be Beautiful Spine. And then I read Summer of Good Intentions, and then all of a sudden I was like, well, this one has a pretty spine, and then I forgot that this is now green. Confusion much? Probably. Um, then for um, flipping a coin, I have two books to choose from, and they are both Kristen Hanna books. I've got to read them both eventually anyways, because I put three on my summer TBR, and I've read none of them. So I have these two. We're going to make The Summer Island Heads and On Mystic Lake Tales. Got my coin. I've been watching people fail at this, so I'm really nervous that I'm going to also fail. So, right, we said this was heads, Mystic Lake was tails. Okay. Ooh, I did it. Heads. So, it's going to be Summer Island, which is perfect because at least it's summer. So, if this is the only Kristen Hanna book I get during the summer, at least it is a summer version. Um, and then the last challenge was to read seven books. So, that's one, two, three, four, five six. So my seventh book that I chose was The Light in Summer by Mary McNear. Um, I definitely wanted to, when I was looking through my summer TBR books, I wanted to make sure that any books that had the word summer in the title were definitely in this TBR because I don't want to have to wait a whole nother year to read them. So this is gonna happen. And it's got a really cute dog on the cover. So I'm excited. This could also work with wearing a hat. We'll see how it goes. So, I don't know. I don't really have high expectations of getting to all seven books. In the years that I crushed it, I got to, like, nine books or something crazy like that. But I definitely don't have those high hopes this week because I'm actually, like, doing things during Booktubeathon this year. So, we'll have to see. But at least I'm going to try. And I will tell you my update at the end of the week. Um, I believe Booktubeathon now ends next Sunday. Not Saturday like I thought. But I will update you at the end of the week and hopefully by the end of the week I should have a really large book haul that I was not anticipating. But I've got a whole stack of books that are ready to be shown to you but I know that I have four books that are still in the mail. So once those books come in the mail I will definitely share you share with you this book haul that I have and yeah so keep your eyes peeled for that. I think the books come possibly Thursday. So That'll be coming soon. I cannot wait. So I hope you guys have an amazing Booktubeathon. I can't wait to watch all of your videos if you're posting videos. And I hope you have an amazing time and happy reading this week. Just do what you can and it'll still be fun. Bye everybody.